Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about creating storybooks with multiple characters. Uh, as the title say, says, Earn and Learn. Basically, you can use these storybooks to uh, download to KDP or create your own storybook, put it on your website, and sell it um, at a price that you choose, okay? So let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we're going to start from the beginning. I am in DeepSeek, and we are going to uh, use a prompt to create a storybook. And I'm going to have it to please act as a professional storybook writer so that I can create a story book for KDP. Now, I will tell you guys, I have not, I've I've done a few things a long time ago in KDP. I am not familiar with it, so this is something new to me. I'm going to be going back over the steps as time progresses. Today, I will not be getting into um, um, uploading it to KDP or anything like that. Only thing I'm doing is showing you guys how to get a story formatted for those who want to upload it to Amazon KDP, okay? So that's what the basis of this is, how to get your storybook, how to get your images and everything so that you can download it for your KDP, okay? Now, what I also did is I gave it a basis. So um, um, I wanted to give it a, maybe like a, a synopsis, a qu quick scenario of what I want the book to be about. So my book is about a little girl. who has to move to her aunt's farm after her mom loses her job. And the lesson of uh, S -S -S -N of this story is change is good and there is always a bright side to when sad things happen sorry about that guys my key is stick so I, uh, I get that double you know sticky key so I apologize for that and so now, I, because I have an idea of how I want this storybook to look and how I want the farm part to look, I am going to refer back to my um, storybook. So just give me one moment. Okay, guys, so I am in my clip art prompt guide that I am putting together. It is definitely not finished. I am just starting to create it. So... Um, I looked through it to see which one that I wanted to use. And this seems like the character that I'm going to stick with. My, my prompts are pretty long because there's a lot of detail that I want in the pictures to make sure that it comes out the way I want. But because I only want a description of the character, I'm only going to copy maybe this part. Okay, and I'm going to do the same for the little girl because I want her to look like her mom. And I'm only going to copy part of that also, like up to this part. Okay, so I'll show you that back in Deep Sea. Okay, so now I have paste in the two prompts for the description of the mother and the daughter um but be right after i put that in i made sure that i put in okay hold on let me fix this one lessons okay 
please use these character guidelines for the mom and daughter and then create another character that act as her great aunt. Here are the two character descriptions. And then I place those in and now I want it to also um, make the story book under 10 pages and give it a funny tone. Okay, and let's go. Let's see what we get. Now, they named it the Great Cow Patty Caper, which that is really weird. Um, don't know why they did that. But uh, we are going to go back and um, hopefully they didn't give me too many pages. If they did, I can always come back and then tell them to shorten it down to however many pages that I need. Okay? So... And I said under 10 pages, and it still did 10 pages. Okay, let's see if, um, oh, too much. Let's see if, uh, Artistly is going to take all these pages. Okay, so let's go into Artistly. Wait, I'm sorry. I meant to deep seek again. Let's go into Artistly. We are going to go up to, let me do a refresh on the page because something is definitely rolling. Okay, we're going to go into the AI design agent. We're going to click on multiple characters. We're going to create a new story. And we are going to paste it in. This one says switch to list. I'm not sure what is, what that is. But I'm going to definitely check that out. Now, usually with storybooks, the size of it that people usually get for kids is usually three by four. Okay. And let's generate the story. Let's see if this is too much. Okay. No, it's fine. So it is generating the story. I did tell it to do it in a KDP type form. So this might be the perfect amount of words and um, to use in order to generate a kid's storybook. So now while that's generating, it's going to go to the other page and I'm going to see how many images that we were able to get with creating this story, okay? Right now we're holding at 98%. And it is generating the designs. By the time it goes back to the other page, I think it's still going to be generating those designs. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come right back and pick up once the designs have been created. Okay. Okay. So we are back and it actually generated over 22 pages, I think, for the story. The story ending actually stops here. And now so that we can see the complete story, what I'm going to do is go into multiple character storybook. And be, But before we do that, I just want you to see how crisp everything is and how clean and how all the images are exactly alike throughout the entire book. So it does keep um, the multiple characters do keep the same image as everything goes along, which I really, really love. Now we're going to create a flip book so that we can see how everything turns out. Click on create a flip book and the stories that we are going to be creating. It also created its own title page. Now I could have went back in and edited. And if there's something that you're not happy with, please edit the title page and everything else, even some of the story. I just want to show you guys how quick it is to do, you know. So now we're going to go ahead on and make sure. It will only check the uh, images generated for that book. Okay, now 
It says Maya and the form of sounds. I don't know why they picked that. You can select a voice, you know, uh, Italian, English, or whatever. Now, what you can also do is keep these flip books in to um, Artistly, and you can actually add a voice to it where it would read the pages for you, and you can do that and use it as a recording or something of that nature. That could be another form of income that you can do where you can sell um, the recordings of it. So I think that would be really, really great. Um, so right now we are going to do the template and they have the built-in template and I want to just keep a blank template, okay? Now we're gonna put in our front cover, which is this one here and my back cover which i am going to use at the very bottom which was the form let's see if it loads up there we go i want to use that one for my back cover and now we are going to generate the flip book so that we can see how everything comes out in the end okay so we're doing generate flip book let's give it a minute now it's going to take more than a minute but it's actually going to put it onto the page. Okay. And we are going to come back once it's ready. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. This is funny. Honestly, this is a 44-page uh, book. And it took less than five minutes to generate into a flip book. And again, you can download it to KDP. To your KDP manuscript okay but first let's go in we are gonna read it and let's see how it looks and there we go Maya lived in a city that went zoom broom beep all day long she loved the noisy buzzy hustle and bustle of the city life one day her mom Eleanor signed and said the zoom room beep company doesn't need me anymore we're moving to aunt b's farm it's weird that they named that the name was the name of the company so see like i said that's my fault i should have read through it first and which i would always do if this was something i was going to publish for myself i would definitely read through it and add to it because i always want a book to have have my spin on it but because of recording's sake, I just wanted to help and get it out and just show you the process in and of itself, okay? Maya imagined a farm quiet and boring and probably smelling like an old vegetable, but her mom chirped, this is a grand adventure. Okay, I am definitely not going to read this entire book, but I just want you to see how the book looks and how beautiful the animations are and how pretty it is. I mean, guys... This is great for you, for those who want to create uh, um, different type of storybooks, uh, have a collection on KDP. You should be able to produce anywhere from two to three, maybe even more, depending on how good you get at it, storybooks a day and download it to KDP, okay? So, in the next video, I will show you some other things about the storybook that I, maybe I can add. If there's anything else that you guys want to know or want to see, please leave a comment down below in the description box. If you are interested in getting Artistly, this software, please click the link. It's going to be in the description box, and it also probably will be down in the comment section as well, okay? Thank you, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.